Welcome to RV Quick Tips. Quick Tips. Hey guys, it's Perry with The Camping Camper. Today I want to talk to you about something a lot of people ask me about, and that's camping chairs. So, you know, usually when people start out with camping chairs, they get the little fold-out ones. And there's some good points to those. They're cheap, they're portable, easy to carry around. And that's why a lot of people go for this, right? And a lot of people already have a couple laying around. So naturally, you just grab them and put them in the camper. But I don't know about you, but after about 20 or 30 minutes and sitting in one of those, they're pretty comfortable to start with. But, you know, after, after that little initial period, my back just starts hurting a little bit. And so that's what got us looking for something a little bit better. Um, the chair that I'm sitting in right now is one of my favorite styles of chairs. It's a fold-up rocking chair. A lot of people end up going with the zero gravity chairs. Us big guys, I don't know if it's because I'm big or because I got the partial paralysis in my legs, but I have a hard time getting in and out of those chairs and I just don't find them that comfortable. A lot of people really like those. But for us, we decided to go this route and we've been very pleased with it. So these uh, black and gray chairs that I have here, they came from Camping World. I got them about three years ago, and I have had one little failure uh, on one part of it where the seam came out over here, uh, but my sister-in-law fixed that, and it really wasn't that big of a deal. She put a patch on there, and it seems to be pretty strong. Now, these chairs are not the most like high-quality, well-built things ever, and they're not going to last you forever, but I feel like two to four years for a camping chair that you spend you know somewhere between fifty and a hundred dollars on it's not too horrible of an investment it's especially not a bad investment if you spend a lot of time sitting outside in your chair which you should be doing so what are the positives of the fold-up rocking chairs that we use well they're easy to get in and out um, they're very comfortable they're very supportive in my lumbar area which i really appreciate and they're just comfortable and they have you that great gentle rocking motion that you just want in a rocking chair what are some negatives about fold-up rocking chairs? Well, they do take a little bit more space than some of the other options, like the fold-up camping chairs that we started out with, and they are a little bit more expensive. You can usually find them on sale for like $50 to $100, depending on the chair that you're looking for. And there are a couple of different styles. And both of those styles have their own pros and cons. So the one that I'm sitting in right now, I think that most fold-up rocking chairs that are made the same way this chair is sits almost identically and they're relatively close in price. I've sat in some from Camping World like this one. I've sat in some from Cabela's. I've sat in some that people had ordered online and they all relatively feel the same and feel about the same quality. So with this general style of chair, what you're gonna find is that the rocker on the bottom is also the folding mechanism. And that can be a negative for this chair just because if you don't clean these, it can be a little bit of a hassle to fold in and out. But all in all, I like this style better. And I'll show you why in a minute. In order to fold this chair up, it's got a locking mechanism behind the front leg here on one side. And it's easier, especially if you don't clean it, to take both hands and just push down and let that fold right up. Now what keeps these folded is a little hook here that goes from the arm of the chair down to the rocker. Once you fold that up, once you latch that, this thing's relatively locked in position and you can just carry it around, do whatever you need to. So to set these chairs up, what you do is you unlatch the latch on the side and then I always put my foot on the very back of the rocker and just take my hands on both sides and pull it forward and you can hear it click. It's a pretty quick and easy setup. This is the other style of fold-up rocker. This one also came from Camping World. It is a little nicer in quality overall. It does have a cover that covers it to add just a little bit of cushion to it. I hardly ever use them because they get wet and they just stay wet forever. The things that I don't like about this style of rocking chair is that Number one, it's actually rated for, to support more weight. However, I did have one collapse on me when it was one day old. And so for that, I have an inherent distrust in this chair. But I do feel like it's comfortable. 
The thing that I don't like about sitting in this particular chair is it tends to sit back a little bit more instead of the neutral position being more forward. And that is exactly uh, when that first chair collapsed on me and I think that it was a faulty chair. And they did replace it under warranty, but I still have a little bit of apprehension every time I sit in one of these. Of course, us fat guys, we got a little apprehension every time we sit in anything that's made to move around. These do fold down to a little bit smaller of a footprint um, because the folding mechanism is different. So the lock on this is right up here. And if you push that in and put your foot on the back of it, it'll just start folding. And then it folds straight down. So it's a little bit more thick whenever it folds up, but it is a shorter footprint. So depending on what size storage you have, this might be a decent option for you, especially if you're not a big guy like me. To fold this chair up, I just put my foot on the front of the rocker and just pull it straight up. And it kind of springs. You can see where it just kind of let it go. I'll do it one more time. It kind of catches there, but then it'll let go and spring forward. And then you want to pull it all the way back till it clicks. One more thing that I wanted to mention that can be a con in general with a fold-up rocking chair is that if the ground's not level, of course, because just like any other rocking chair, it can be a little bit of a pain. So the last thing that I'm gonna show you guys today is how I store my chairs. You may or may not have the storage to do so. I've been tempted to change to a different option, which I actually found on Amazon. So I'm gonna put a link for that and some chairs and stuff below. But the carrier that I saw for outside is actually made by Camco. It's on Amazon. There's a link down below as well as for some chairs. But the uh, way that it works is it hangs on the ladder and then you hang your chairs on top of that. Now, the thing about that carrier is, is that it's supposedly rated for the weight of the chairs, but a lot of people do say that they bend. And uh, I've read a couple of people that say they use two of them and like zip tied them together or something to make them stronger. And I actually thought about doing that myself, but I do have the space available in my storage. So that's the way that I've been doing it, mainly because I feel like I might have more issues with the chairs getting dirty if they're just being drugged behind the camper all the time, but it probably really wouldn't make that big of a difference. So the way that I usually put these in my storage, I have a extendable ladder down here on the bottom and I set these right on top. I just stack them up. This one that's a little bit different that I've been carrying lately, I just put on the cup. So guys, that's really all I was trying to share with you today is where I stand on the whole, what's the best camping chair uh, and you know, what works for you? Why don't you let us know in the comments and we'll get a conversation going and we'll see if you got a better option. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button.